Hey, hey Pisces, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October 2023 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the free reading giveaway or the monthly newsletter, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, welcome. This is good for any and all placements of Pisces in your chart. Now, right away, Pisces, I feel like there could be a decision for you. I am getting a decision. And it looks like that decision could be to put something behind you in order to have a new beginning. I am getting there could be a very important honest conversation that you have this month either with yourself or with another person that is close to your heart or it even could be a boss someone that you're working with right this could be a very important partnership or communication that allows you to move forward but i also feel like their energy is required it's like their participation is required in a mix here so if something has felt one-sided for you as we near well, we're already in Libra season, but as we near these eclipse energies and as we navigate through Libra season, whatever has been off balance, you're putting back into balance. And I'm just getting the words here. Participation is required. So for some of you, maybe you feel like you're pulling all the weight, maybe in a relationship or in a job. This could be focusing more on your health. Maybe you could be focusing a little more on a specific area of health than maybe you have been because maybe weight, right? It's weight came up earlier in a different context. Uh, maybe someone's not pulling their weight or maybe you feel like you've gained a few pounds. Now, again, I'm not here to judge or point fingers, but I feel like someone could be focused on their weight and you may be getting in better shape. Maybe you've joined a gym. Maybe you've started yoga. You've cut out sugars. So again, I feel like you are taking a look at what needs to be looked at and you're making a choice. And that's what this, this energy I'm feeling is all about for you. Let's see what messages Spirit has. Okay, what do we have from Spirit? Okay, it's important to clear your mind because there's a lot of, a lot of clutter in the mind space. There may be some influences externally that may have affected you as well. So let's take a look at your overall energy for the month of October. You have this energy of getting real, being real with yourself, with others, being able to be your authentic self instead of at times putting on a mask or feeling like you're not able to fully be you in fear of maybe some sort of judgment or criticism. Maybe you feel like you're walking on eggshells in a situation. I feel like that's what you're leaving behind here. You have this Capricorn energy showing up and there is a situation that that may have been based on dishonesty. There could have been some sort of hidden truths. Some trust may have been a factor. Trust may have been broken. I'm also hearing betrayal. So this is the perfect month with eclipse season, right? We have the solar eclipse on the 14th in the, in the sign of Libra, which can certainly be about relationships, partnerships, and love. But we also have that powerful Taurus partial eclipse on the 28th. And that's, that's part of the Taurus Scorpio axis. It's part of a series of eclipse and it's the last one. So you're done putting up with something that may have been negative or toxic or dishonest in your life and this is the time for you to really bring it into balance even if that means you have to make a difficult decision i feel like you want to leave this in the past and for some of you it could even be forgiving someone for what they did and allowing yourself to forgive it doesn't mean that what that person did is okay but it allows you the freedom to move forward instead of it feeling like it's weighing you down because you have the forgiveness energy here which is in your sign pisces so i am getting some sort of forgiveness there could have been hurtful words there may have been gossip i also sense that Someone may have spoken an untruth or there may have been lies. I'm also getting here that 
There may have been something found on someone's phone that really upset you or hurt you, or there was something on social media or some form of technology that disappointed you. Okay, I see that here, but you're leaving that behind. You're getting real and you're saying, okay, why, why is that even bothering me? Is this showing up for me to take a closer look at? Have I been avoiding some sort of a red flag? Or yes, there's disappointment because I didn't get that email that I wanted. Maybe it was a rejection letter. So I feel like you are shifting gears. You're accepting that something was out of your control and I feel like you're putting it behind you in order to have this new beginning. So what's happening around the solar eclipse, right? This powerful energy in Libra, which is new moon and it's also a full solar eclipse in the sign of Libra, is all about moving through fears. It's pushing through them, letting them dissolve in the best possible way, shape, or form in order for you to, in a way, sidestep, right? You see this crab here, and crabs, they don't go forward, they don't go backwards, at least I don't believe, right? They kind of scuttle to the side. They do a little sidestep action here. So I feel like you're able to see it from a different perspective or a different angle. You're also making room for someone's particip participation to be included in the mix here. Okay, so this could be a hiring of maybe help, right? It could be help around the house. It could be help cleaning. It could be help taking care of children. It doesn't have to be hiring in the form of money, but it could be asking for someone's support or for their participation in maybe a family function or it may have to do with your work, your career. You could hire an assistant uh, or someone else is coming in to, to help out because I'm getting here again, participation is required. Now, if someone has been sidestepping, maybe, maybe the sidestepping energy I'm getting here with this crab is someone's been kind of scuttling or sidestepping around a problem, but now the, the elephant is in the room and you can't step around the elephant, right? The elephant is here. That's why they say the white elephant in the room because it's right here in your face. So I feel like there's no more sidestepping or scuttling around a situation. This is time for it to come out in the open so forgiveness and healing can happen, okay? Very powerful month for you. A lot of deep energy with emotions showing up with Cancer and Pisces. But we also have this Aquarius and Capricorn energy as well. So a beautiful blend. Now, what you don't see coming or the outcome or spirit messages here, kind of a little bit of a blend because spirit wants you to know that it's important to clear your mind with this Gemini energy because sometimes you get into that air element and we can overthink things, right? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we are in that Libra energy. So it's important to clear your mind. Drop down to the heart center a little bit. Stay in that energy of love and compassion towards yourself and others. Step back from the problem if need be because that can help you gain a new perspective. Maybe speak to a professional, speak to a trusted friend. But ultimately, you have here practice gratitude and you have step into your power. Sagittarius and Aries. So there is something here with the, the power of gratitude, with the power of being able to be grateful for all of the things, the good, the bad, the ugly, right? The missteps, the betrayal, the lessons, the opportunities, the setbacks and the successes and the achievements, right? Can you be grateful for it all? And I feel like a lot of you, you're shifting that perspective and it's actually allowing you to take a deep step into your power. And that's what this energy is all about for you. So I really like this showing up here, Pisces. Now let's take a look and see what this eclipse is revealing for you, what you don't see coming. Let's see what this re eclipse is revealing for you, Pisces. We have the keeper of the scales, go figure, Libra energy, fairness and balance. And I tell you, Pisces, you are the last sign. And it's such a beautiful confirmation to see all across the board, almost every single sign has received at least 
three or more of the same cards and there's four different decks to use in this reading and so libra in the south node and aries in the north node on a global collective energetic level is saying that things are really shifting for the collective good and yes this is affecting you personally and professionally but it's also shifting the paradigm within the the universe within the planet so this is a really a wonderful confirmation so what you don't see coming you have fairness showing up here and more balance which we've already talked about so the keeper of the scales is showing up this month for you to bring about balance in a fair way so if you have been fair in your endeavors if you've been fair in your emotions or in how you've responded to situations if you've been fair with how you've treated a situation you're going to see the best possible outcome. But for those of you who maybe you haven't been as honest or as fair as you could have been, you're going to see that things are showing up for you in order to bring about more balance. Now, some of you may be 38 years old. Okay, there could be a significance around that number. Some of you are born on the 16th or the 17th. And we also have 43. All right. You also have sister of the seasons, cycles of growth, natural law, and divine order. So sisters of the season. So what you don't see coming here is during this seasonal change, uh, you know, as the weather changes, as we go into different seasons here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're now in that autumn season, Southern Hemisphere, maybe going into the spring. So I definitely sense that there's a lot of growth cycles that are happening externally, but most importantly, internally here. And that's actually bringing in that natural law, that divine order, right? We can't, we can't make summer or spring or fall or winter symbolic for our own self going through these changes we must shed you know a, a part of the old to make way for a new season or a new cycle and that's what's taking place here some of you are seeing some noticeable changes within your body right you may be seeing that Maybe there's a gray hair or few, right? Maybe there's wrinkles or, you know, spots and places that you, you didn't know existed, right? So I feel like there's a lot of shifts and same thing for relationships. For those of you that have been in a relationship for quite some time, we're always evolving. We're always changing, right? And you may be noticing that this relationship that you are in or that job that you are in, it's it doesn't have the same momentum or the same feeling that it one time did. But it's important to understand that everything has its season. And I feel like a lot of you may feel like you're between one season and another emotionally at this time. Now you also have the shadow queen. This is all about acquiring knowledge. It also talks about insecurity here, which you, you have. I thought you had the insecurity card. Maybe you don't, uh, but that could be one of your fears is some sort of insecurity uh, and manipulation. It's also card 16. So some of you may have people around you that may represent the shadow queen who may project their own insecurities onto you and maybe that's what you're working on forgiving for others of you maybe you felt manipulated in the past or maybe you at times have manipulated the outcome for your in your favor here but I feel like there were lessons on both parties or one party whoever was uh, really feeling the insecurities heavily the shadow queen is bringing about truths so that's what the eclipse is showing you're going to be able to see through people, you're going to see through situations, and you're going to see that other people's projections have nothing to do with you, but everything to do with them. And because a lot of you Pisces have such a big, beautiful heart, you may be healers, you may be empaths, you want to help these people. And that may be a part of your career for some of you, if you're coaches, if you're healers, if you're mentors, but don't let anyone manipulate you or to get caught up in the drama of someone else's insecurities, okay? 
Now, lastly here, you have the word Lord. And I love this one. For those of you that have any Aquarius in your chart, or if you're on that Aquarian cusp, uh, they receive this as well. And this is all about communication. It's about praise and dishonesty as well. I am getting here that if this is a work situation, someone may have been dishonest and been praised for Maybe the work that you did, but maybe you didn't speak up because you didn't want to stir the pot or maybe you knew that you being real and you being authentic was going to shine through eventually or maybe you did speak up and nothing was done about it. I feel like that's coming to a head or coming to a surface here. If this is a relationship, again, trust or dishonesty or some sort of miscommunication, someone may not have been honest. I'm also getting someone may not have told you the whole truth about a situation, someone may try to give you flowers or they may cover up their dishonesty by being super sweet or super charming. I mean, that's not going to resonate with everyone. I'm just getting here like a a teacher's pet type of energy or a sucking up type of energy after something has been like maybe somebody says something hurtful to you or maybe they've done something uh, hurtful or there's been some sort of breach of trust or dishonesty. It's, it's like then they try to make up for it and they really go to extremes. I feel like you, you've let a person or you've forgiven a person for quite some time if this has been a repetitive pattern. And now this could be, again, a cold splash of water in your face, Pisces, where you're leaving a, you're leaving a situation behind. You're saying, okay, I've forgiven you enough. I've not spoken up or, or communicated my needs enough. Now I need to shift. I need to do something in a new way here. Clearing your mind is going to help because sometimes you let other people get into your headspace and that makes you feel even more confused, right? Uh, we have here practicing gratitude, gratitude for the lessons. There, I'm just heard here the word superpower. So some of you, you're really stepping into your, your power here and it's going to be amplified. Maybe this is about you heading towards a new direction in, again, love, career, health, making a move, literally, I'm seeing move, so there could be movement. Now let's clarify some of this energy and get some deeper answers. Let's take a look at what it is that you're getting real about, right? What's this authenticity coming in? What do we need to get real about? What's this cold splash of water as I've been describing it all across the board? What do we have here, please, for Pisces? How can Pisces get real? There is some sort of truth coming out, maybe from a friend group. You may have a friend who tells you, Pisces, you need to get rid of that, that guy or that girl. Or Pisces, you need to quit that job. Or Pisces, uh, there needs to be some sort of shift or change. So I feel like you may have a very blunt friend who just wants the best for you, right? So I feel like hanging out with maybe your tribe or a trusted loved one or other like-minded individuals can help you get real about a situation. All right, some of you may need to get real about a third-party situation, possibly some sort of excessiveness, whether it's an excessive amount of drinking or partying. Uh, typically here, especially in this card, I feel more of that sisterly bond, but it also can represent that third party, right? Feeling a little bit left out or a love triangle as well. Now, what do we need to leave behind? What do we need to leave behind? Pisces, what is it in Pisces' highest good to leave behind? Wow, you are leaving it behind once and for all. Actually, you have the Ten of Swords. Some of you, it's a Gemini or it's someone who isn't in touch with their emotions. They don't know how to express emotions. Therefore, it comes out in very hostile ways at times. It could come out in yelling, hurtful words. When the King of Swords shows up in reverse, uh, this is someone who has a, a little bit of a hot head, right? They can get angry. And I feel like you're walking away from this person. It could even be a boss for you. It could be someone who just isn't as diplomatic as you would have hoped, 
you're walking away from that Pisces once and for all good for you because it's difficult to do so especially if this person may be your boss and you you are wanting to stay in the environment but maybe your boss isn't being fair or treating you fairly okay it could be a relationship where someone's just not willing to do the work to get their emotions in check or to get their headspace right Okay, someone may go through a lot of, again, someone may be a heavy drinker or abuser of some sort of substance, pills, drug, um, addiction here. Let's take a look at these fears. Oh, okay. Someone may have used their addictions or not being in the right frame of mind as an excuse and I feel like you've accepted possibly or you've forgiven this person because you thought, oh, they would never do that in their right mind. Okay, but uh, whew, something's shifting here. The Two of Wands says that, yes, there's a little bit of indecision, but I feel what you don't see coming is that wheel is spinning. It's time for you to hop on. It's like that train that comes through and there's only, you know, a, one train ticket left and there's no stop until the next 200 miles. And I feel like you're making a choice and you're, you're sticking to it because there's no way off the train, right? When the train's going 100 miles per hour, you're not going to jump off. And if you do, you're going to you're gonna hurt yourself. And I, I don't feel like you want to jump into this situation again just to stay, right? You want to move forward, and I feel like you will. There could be a lot more money involved here. Some of you may have stayed in a situation with someone. Oh, gosh, I don't like this energy. I feel abusive. Or they were abusing their powers or abusing your kindness, Okay, they were taking you for granted even. Okay, there could be someone was using you for your money. Wow. Ooh, let's 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 get rid of that energy. We want to put that behind us anyway. You're gracefully walking away. Now let's get to the good juicy stuff of what spirit has for you. Stepping into your power, practicing gratitude, appreciating what it is that's right in front of you and the things that you have. Okay, yeah, a lot more fairness and balance coming in. What else does Pisces need to know? What do we need to know here? Some of you are around a, are around a very uh, stubborn or tenacious person. You may be, this could be a karmic cycle as well, or you felt like you went round and round because I am seeing here the wheel, but there's a cycle that is coming to a close, cycle that is coming to an end here. I feel like all is being either forgiven and someone is really possibly stepping into their power as well because they realize that Pisces is going to leave if we don't, you know, compensate them fairly or if, if I don't get my shit together, Pisces is going to walk away forever and I will lose them. So I feel like there could be some sort of a contemplation, negotiation or compromise in this mix here. All right. Yeah. Ooh. King of Wands. There could be two people, King of Swords, King of Wands. I mean, I like the energy of the King of Wands better than the King of Swords here, I will say. King of Swords in reverse isn't pleasant. Uh, he can be very stubborn, very bullheaded, very uh, power control driven as well, very military, but also very routine. King of Wands showing up in the upright when he is engulfed in the the powerful energies of the king of wands which i feel like this one is he takes charge of his destiny this is someone who could be a business owner or a businessman he's very active very passionate very adventurous very brave and courageous this could be someone that you're attracting this could be an important partnership in matters of love Okay, for those of you that are, maybe you don't see this coming. Maybe you don't even see that this King of Wands is available because you're still kind of closing out a chapter over here. For those of you that, this also could be a shift I'm getting where this King of Wands is coming out of some sort of routine. He's being a little more adventurous, trying something new. Okay, and it may actually bring the two of you together. Please take it as it resonates with your story. The Sun card showing up, the Magician, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay. So what we have here is the Sun, 
The sun is showing up in reverse, so there was something that's been pulled out from underneath you, uh, or it feels at times like not, not every day is sunny, which really it's, it's not supposed to, right? Sometimes we need those rainy days, just like the seasons here. Not all, it's not going to be fall or autumn energy forever, right? We have to go through those highs and lows in a sense, but it's how we respond and how we react to them. That is a great lesson here. So you're also saying, I wanna enjoy my health while I have it. I wanna enjoy my life, my success, my happiness, my abundance. I wanna be with people who bring out the best in me. I don't want the rest of me, right? Isn't there a song or a quote? Uh, you get the rest of me or the best of me, but I feel like you, you have a lot ahead of you here, Pisces. You have a lot of life to live. You have a lot of love to give. And it's important that you understand and realize that you are the creator. You're the magician. You have all of the tools to manifest this success, this happiness, this abundance, that sunshine in your world. And you understand as well that not all days are going to be happy and sunny, but you also have control of how you're going to react or respond to some of those blue or rainy days, right? Knight of Cups, someone may be giving you a love offer, right? Possibly an apology, Knight of Cups energy. Someone could be romanticizing about you. I, I feel like someone wants to live with you if they don't already or move in with you or something could move quite quickly here for you. There could be flowers involved. There could be a, a trip, a romantic trip involved, possibly a letter or a long text message where someone may even pour their heart out. And you may say, wow, that's not like this person. Or if this is a new person here, I feel like this could actually go all the way, right? Four of Wands is celebrating your life together. It's the halfway to marriage. And then you have the Ten of Cups. Wow, this is family dynamic. It is that emotional compatibility, emotional wealth. It's happily ever after here. But even in the fairy tales, you know that there are sometimes the, the bad guys or the, the bad energies that tend to threaten or bring down, uh, you know, the situation. So some of you are leaving someone behind entirely. That's kind of what I get with the Ten of Swords, or it could be a company, it could be a workplace, to head into something more aligned with what it is you truly seek. And this has the, the potential to be long-lasting, longevity. I mean, Ten of Cups, you can't go any higher than that, right? So I feel like this could take you into retirement. Some of you are working with family. Maybe you work from home. If this has to do with a relationship, I definitely sense that... Uh, you could be moving in together, building a life together. I'm hearing building a home together. Maybe some of you are thinking about getting a, a beach home, a vacation home, or building a home near water. You can see water in the background. There's also a rainbow of energy here. So you could be reconnecting, moving closer to family, uh, maybe to your grandkids or to your own children. You may find out that your children is getting married or there's some sort of celebratory energy around a child. Maybe someone's celebrating a birthday, a move, a job offer, and I feel like they want you to share in on their happiness. Whew, a lot going on here, Pisces, but I feel like you're heading towards a lot, a lot of positive change. Now let's see what messages are coming in for you from your animal guides. What do we have please for Pisces in the month of October, 2023? Okay, um, I'm hearing the word here, Rubicon, Rubicon. Now is that a vehicle, Rubicon? Maybe it's a place, maybe it's someone's name. Please take it as it resonates, Rubicon. All right, I might have to look that up. Okay, you have, beautiful, you have the chimpanzee, which is the two of pentacles. This is about flow and balance. It's about creating more fun in your life instead of the seriousness of it all in the past here, right? This is about going with the flow instead of feeling like every turn of the way there's some sort of resistance coming at you. That's what you're getting rid of, right? You're getting rid of the not knowing or the guessing game or the replaying out of old cycles, old patterns. The Two of Pentacles says there's been too much work and no play or too much struggle and not enough ease. You're finding that balance here. Eight of Wands, Dragonfly. This represents optimism, speed, and possibly even standing still. I'm getting here communication, 
through uh, through a, maybe even a text, like I mentioned. There could be a handwritten note, but I feel like it's important for you to stay optimistic because you're you're speeding ahead here. I feel like it's full speed ahead energy. Nine of Pentacles is represented by the white peacock. This is all about heaven on earth, independence, and expansive thinking. So the sky's the limit. Dream big, big picture thinking here for you, Pisces. Wow, look at this. You have the Nine of Cups right behind it. And look at this cute little guy, the puffer fish. This is all about wishes granted, satisfaction, and pride. You're heading towards your wish fulfillment here. Your wishes are being granted. A lot of you, it has to do with a home, with a family, with being able to spend time with those that you love because you've been strong. You've been strong through it all. You have the lion, the strength. Some of you uh, have strong Leo placements. So you're dealing with a Leo. This is about mind over matter because love wins. Love always wins here. This is also about uh, material success. Now, four of pentacles, I feel like there's more stability coming in when it comes to your money because you're shifting your consciousness. You're shifting your perspective around maybe scarcity consciousness or the fear of not having enough, the fear of uh, lack of or the fear of, I'm just getting, you know, fears. What you have here is what you're eliminating. If you've had any fear around resources or finances or maybe you're saving i feel like some of you are saving for something that you really want some sort of material success that's going to be granted here for you that is what i have for you pisces i hope it resonates if so please feel free to hit that thumbs up button it certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most and it certainly helps the growth of the channel thank you so very much for being here if you haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button please do so lots of love to you